Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Downshift. I'm your host Nestor and today we're going to talk all about the Corvette 2020 pricing. Now for those of you that don't know, Chevrolet has finally come out with the official list of pricing for every single trim level package and other option you can possibly think of on the Corvette and we're going to break that down today. So like I mentioned, we're going to cover all three of the trim levels. We're going to cover the Z51 package and other performance mods you can put on the vehicle and finally all the other options. Now those options include, you know, the the caliper colors, the seat belt colors, the different seats that you can get, the paint colors, the high wing spoiler, the wheels. We're going to talk about pricing for everything. So what we're going to do right now is switch over to my PC and I'm going to basically pull up the configurator and I'll show you guys the vehicle part that we're looking at and its corresponding price. So that way you guys know exactly what you're paying for and exactly how much everything costs. Without further ado guys, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are on the Corvette configurator for the C8 and we're very quickly going to talk about the trim levels and some packages and then we're going to dive into all of the nitty gritty details. So the 1LT package which is the base model that you're seeing on screen right now costs $59,995 and this actually includes the $1,095 destination charge. The 2LT package costs $67,295. It also includes that charge and then the 3LT costs $71,945 and includes that same charge. So about a $7,000 increase from 1LT to 2LT and from 2LT to 3LT you're increasing it by about $4,000. Let me know what you guys think of those prices right there. Honestly not too bad and with the amount of stuff you get in 2LT you have to expect that big of an increase in terms of the cost. The Z51 package is going to cost $5,000 and this is what's going to get you 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. If you want just the performance exhaust that will cost you $1,000 $1,195. Now the lift system costs $1,495, but that is an option that is only available on the 2LT and 3LT package. We also know that the top speed of the vehicle is 194 miles per hour, which is pretty damn fast. Now some people wanted it to hit that 200, but for a base C8, you know, you cannot complain. 194 is uh, is pretty damn fast. We also then have the magnetic ride control, which costs $1,000. $1,895, but you do need the Z51 package if you want the magnetic ride control. Let's go ahead and first talk about what you're going to get with the Z51 package. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that right here on the vehicle. And as you can see, it looks a lot more sportier right away. If we take it off, you guys can tell the difference and it, uh, it definitely looks better with the Z51 in my opinion, but you may disagree and feel free to. So Z51 includes the Michelin PS4 Performance 3 season tires, which are better than the stock ones. We have the upgraded suspension, which is the performance version. It's just a little bit stiffer and it's tuned. We have the available magnetic ride control if you want to pay for that on top of the Z51. We have the larger 345 millimeter front and 350 millimeter rear brake rotor. Motors. That's going to obviously help you with braking and would probably be necessary on a track setting. It's got the extra cooling with one rear mounted third radiator and that's actually going to be right behind these slits right here. So very nice extra cooling for the vehicle. It also comes with an electronic limited slip differential instead of the mechanic one. And as somebody who has driven with a limited slip diff as well as, you know, a dual clutch transmission, I can tell you right now that it makes a big difference. It also comes with the larger rear wing spoiler that provides 400 pounds of downforce as you guys can see and last but not least the performance exhaust which gives you 495 horsepower rather than 490 and it also just makes the sound a lot better you can control when you want to open the valves or close them so that's a very nice package for five thousand dollars additionally if you do want just the performance uh, exhaust and not the z51 package you can do that for only one thousand one hundred and ninety five dollars next Next, let's talk about the exterior colors because most of them are free and you can actually pick these with no extra cost, but some of them will charge you. So as an example, black is free. 
Arctic White is also free. We have Blade Silver, which in my opinion is a sleeper color. This thing looks incredible and the fact that it's free is absolutely beautiful. We have the Ceramic Matrix Gray, the Shadow Gray Metallic. We have the Zeus Bronze as well as the Elkhart Lake Blue, which are all free colors. And last but not least, even the Torch Red is free. And this is a beautiful color in person. Now the Accelerate Yellow and the Rapid Blue are not free. These are going to cost you $500 dollars each and the tin coat colors which are sebring orange as well as long beach red metallic are going to cost 995 dollars next up we have the wheels and before we do that let's take off the performance c51 package and let's put on the torch red so it is a stock car as you can see, the bright silvers come stock, but you can get the carbon flash open spoke, and these are going to cost you $995. These two right here, the Trident spokes, these are going to cost you $1,495, and these are all from the factory. You can order them like this, but if you do decide to get the accessory black trident spokes, these will come in addition to the rims that you get on the car and they will have to be installed at the dealership. Now these accessory black trident spokes are not cheap, okay? These ones cost, I believe they were something like, let me see, $2,695. Now in my opinion, these are by far the best looking wheels, but I don't think it's worth it because you get the original wheel as well as this one and you do have to pay almost $3,000 for these right here. I'd rather just go aftermarket after a few months, but that is just my opinion. Next up, let's talk about the uh, caliper color options because these are all the same price other than black. They're going to cost $595 and again, that is for either of these colors right here. Let's quickly jump into the interior very, very quickly because I want to show you guys what you're getting in terms of the seat options and the seat belt colors and all that very very nice stuff now believe it or not you can actually upgrade to these seats right here these are the competition seats but they are not entirely made of leather they are half leather and half performance textile now they do come with a lot of carbon fiber and the bolsters on these are absolutely incredible as you can see look at this they're just very very thick seats and they definitely hold you in very well these will cost $1,995, and in my opinion, that's kind of a bargain. Now, if you want the suede microfiber wrapped steering wheel, you can get that for $595. Now, let's talk about the seatbelts because this is what a lot of people absolutely love on this car. It comes stock with black, but you have a lot of different options right here. They are going to cost $395, and that's actually for all the colors right here. You can choose from orange, you can choose blue, you can choose the red color, you can go for the yellow, or even the tan natural color. These are all going to be the same price, $395. Not only can you get the Jet Black, which comes stock for $0, but you also have the option of getting the Sky Cool Gray. And let's go ahead and put that on just to show you guys how that looks. Phenomenal. Now, let's go ahead and put the black seatbelts back on just so it matches. And uh, yeah, that you can get the Sky Cool Gray for $0 on a 1LD package. So, a ton of customization right there. And believe it or not, you can also get the Adrenaline Red seats for nothing for zero dollars that's to me that's incredible i thought these were going to cost at least a thousand dollars but i guess corvette just does it differently now let's go back outside of the vehicle and let's talk about the full length racing stripes some of you guys might like these some of you may not but i believe they're over here um, in exterior accents so as you guys can see there's midnight full length silver and as well as carbon flash these are all going to cost 995 dollars if you want to get this option one other thing i want to cover before we move on to the 2lt package is the spoiler this is something that a lot of people really really like the look of and i am definitely in that same bandwagon so let's go ahead and put on the high wing spoiler and this is going to cost 1150 dollars whether you get it in the same color as the car or in the carbon flash color, it's going to cost the same amount, which I, in my opinion is great. And this just makes the car look so much more exotic. And I think this is almost
almost essential if you are looking to get a spoiler on the vehicle. The other really awesome thing is that the carbon flash painted outside mirrors and spoiler only costs a hundred dollars so if you want to get that nice exotic look and have that contrast hundred dollars for that package that to me is incredible and i planned on getting it but was worried that this was going to cost like five six hundred dollars just for carbon fiber paint so yeah hundred dollars right there that's awesome so let's go ahead and talk about the 2LT package now, and this is where you're going to get a lot of comfort and technology for $7,000 on top of the 1LT price. So the namely features here are heads-up display, you get the wireless phone charging, the heated and vented seats, the heating steering wheel, the 14-speaker Bose system instead of 10 speakers, you get navigation with traffic, the performance data recorder, you get the power folding mirrors, the rear camera mirror, which, you know, appears in the mirror that's in the middle console of your dashboard area. This is not a regular backup camera. Those come automatically with the 1LT package. This is just a bonus camera. You also then get the memory package, the curve view camera, side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, advanced theft deterrent system, and for the power lumbar and wing adjustment, I don't actually think you get this because this is only available on the GT2 seats. And if you want the GT2 seats with 2LT, you have to pay extra. And so this is why, in my opinion, getting the 2LT LT package is not worth it simply because you're paying $7,000 and you're not even getting the seats which are the GT2s if I can find them right here. Let's switch over to interior and I'll show you guys the difference between the 1LT seats and the 2LT seats with GT2. So right now these are the GT1 and we're going to go ahead and just quickly switch on over to the GT2 seats and as you can see there <laughs> pretty big difference and um, you're not even getting the standard with the 2LT package. Now for two-tone seats, that's going to cost you $395. So quite a lot of options with the 2LT package, but again, without the GT2 seats, I'm not sure if this package is definitely worth it because $7,000 plus another $1,500 for the seats is quite a lot more than the 1LT version of this vehicle. Now one of the most important things is the front lift adjustment. This is only available with 2LT and 3LT, but it does not come stock on the 2LT package. You're going to have to pay an additional $14. 1995 if you want that front lift with memory. All right, so now we're here at the 3LT package and what we're going to do is take a look at what this comes with. So basically you get everything from the 2LT package, but on top of that you get the GT2 seat standard with Nappa leather and carbon fiber trim. You also get custom leather wrapped interior, suede wrapped upper interior trim, as well as leather wrapped lower doors. So the 3LT package is really not just about the comfort and technology but mainly about the luxury of the interior. Now, if you do get the 3LT package and want to upgrade to the competition seats, these are only going to cost you $500, but in my opinion, I probably wouldn't do it because you can get the competition seats on the 1LT, so upgrading from luxury in the 3LT to a more sportier competition seat, I'm not sure. I don't think I would do that, and for $500, it's not a lot, but still, I would prefer the all-leather, the all-Napa leather. Now, it's also important to note that with the 3LT package, you do not get the front lift system auto automatically. You're still going to have to pay $14.95 for that if you do get the 3LT package. And uh, yeah, there you go. That is a stock vehicle right there, ladies and gentlemen. You can have the red interior for no additional cost. And that right there is $59,995. Let me know what you guys think of the pricing in the comments down below. I'd definitely be interested to see what you guys, you know, have to say about this because, you know, there's, there's been mixed emotions, but for the most part, people are very happy with the pricing. Thank you all so much for watching today's video i'm not going to drag this on any longer hopefully you guys enjoyed and learned something and i will see you guys in that next upload peace